Hey besties, good morning. It is 9 o'clock for me, so I'm just going to drink some of my coffee. In today's video, we are going to be reviewing the new Power Grip Primer from e.l.f. Cosmetics. I am so excited because you guys already know what this little guy right here is. This is the Hydro Grip. So I figure Power Grip, Hydro Grip, they're both kind of green. You know, a lot of times when brands try to come out with a dupe product for a high-end product, they're a little bit more like discreet, but for me, I feel like Power Grip, Hydro Grip, you know. So today we're going to see if these actually are dupes. So this is $34, this is $10. So if this does end up being a really good dupe, then you do get to save a bit of money there. And obviously, we are going to wear these all day, and I'm going to check back with you guys at the end of the day and just see how good both sides of my face held up to see if the claim on this is true. Let me actually read to you exactly from the website what the claims are. So it says it's a gel-based, skin-loving primer that soothes while gripping your makeup. So we're going to see if that is what it does today. I have all my other makeup goodies right here so you guys can see everything as well that I'm putting on my face. Uh, I do want to give these products, this product a fair shot. So I'm going to do my makeup the exact same way I would always do it with my favorite products, like some of my favorite products. The first thing we're going to do is go into this Cover Effects Blurring Primer. I always have to start with a blurring primer, so I'm not really going to, you know, take that away from my routine. Because to be fair, if a primer, like um, the second primer I go into, doesn't work with my pore filling primers, to be honest, I just won't be using that primer because I really, really, really do enjoy and need... I feel I need my pore filling primers because I just feel like they work magic on the skin. Like, do you guys see how my craters just kind of diminished like we love that for me I love that for me wow I'm kinda hyper this morning uh, I'm just really excited about this product you know because I know they had the jelly pop too elf did and I actually really like that and I even thought that itself was kind of like a dupe for the hydro definitely not as good as the hydro but it definitely could be classified as a dupe for sure in my opinion so when I saw this one I was like ooh okay like let's let's test it out let's see what we can do here now let me think what side do I want to do the elf on because that's the next step uh, mm, let's do the elf on this side and then the hydro on this side yeah let's do it that way I'm gonna take it out I always love to see a product when it's just straight up fresh and new so I can mess it up you know so we're gonna just ooh, okay okay very, very thicky and tacky, as you would expect it to be. See that? We love that. Okay. Oh, it does feel very similar. I wonder if Elf was, like, in the lab and just, like, playing with the consistency of the milk one and trying to, like, you know, um, dupe that. I don't know. I, I assume that's what happens behind the scenes. Uh, when you're trying to get a product to be a dupe for a more expensive one. Let me put some more. It's like a very light green. Oh, I'm glad that you can see it so good. Okay, camera. So we are just going to keep applying that on this side. Also, on this side of the nose, I find with the Hydro, sometimes when I put that one on the nose, the foundation does something really weird. So I do want to see what happens when I put it on this side of my nose. And yeah, just like this half of the face in general. Wiping my hands on my pants. <laughs> Uh, and then taking the Milk Hydro Primer, which we know and love. Hasn't this won, like, awards? Alright, and then this is what that one looks like on the back of my hand. If you guys can see, yeah, it's very thicky as well. Ooh. Okay. And then putting this one on this side, of course. Yeah, the tackiness seems pretty similar. Alright, cool. And if you're actually interested in what the face looks like, this is the e.l.f. And this is the milk. So, 
yeah so we're going to go in with my favorite foundation well one of them this is the dose of colors meet your hue i feel like it'll give the product a really fair shot and then i'm just gonna blend out with this beauty blender That looks really good. Really good on the outside. <clears throat> and that is what that side of the face looks like with the product. I really do enjoy it. And then we're going to take the other side of this and then blend the Hydro, which I already know I really like this product, so... So this is the side with the e.l.f. and this is the side with the dose of colors and one thing that I do want to mention is that I do feel like and I could be crazy but the e.l.f. side looks better and when I went back to look at the description it did say it also smooths while gripping and I do kind of feel like this side of my face looks smoother especially like up close like let me get real close with y'all like real 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 close so you see the side and then I'm gonna turn and then you guys kind of see that side I definitely think so far I do like the elf side so I don't know I could be crazy but I don't know I think it actually looks really really good on the all side. It looks great on the Hydro Grip side as well. This is really weird. I didn't think that that would be the case. I don't know. Obviously we have to see all day, but so far, so good. We're going to move on to the other products of the face. For concealer, we're also going to go into the Dose of Colors. Meet your hue. Blend that out. I have loved that concealer for such a long time, you guys. I think it looks really, really good on top of the products. Again, this is the e.l.f. side, and this is the Hydro Grip side. I feel like it looks good on both sides, you know? So I'm going to take this powder from Lancome. It's their Long Time No Shine, and I'm just going to put that only under the eyes, chin, and then on the forehead. Now taking the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick, I'm just going to stipple this and give myself a little bronzer contour moment. And it blends out really, really easily. I really, really love this product. So I just wanted to use it because I know it's going to work every time. So I just wanted to use something that I knew wouldn't kind of be weird with a new product, you know. And yeah, that just adds a little bit of contour. And then the same on the other side. And then I just want to hit the foreheads just a little bit. Why did I say foreheads? Forehead. And then going into the Indus Sun Bronzer by Fenty Beauty. It's the powder one, of course. I am just going to stipple this on along the cheekbones just to add some warmth. Then, of course, onto this side. Hitting the forehead. I was like sitting on my foot and now it's like really, really asleep right now. Anyway, now we're going to take this blush brush and we're going to go into the NARS Orgasm Blush. 
which this isn't my second time using it and I think it's really really pretty And then for highlighter, I haven't pulled this out recently. This is the Cookie by Benefit Highlight. This is like one of the most beaming highlighters that you will use, you guys. It is gorgeous. Look at that. So, so pretty. Yeah, I love, I love this one a lot. Like a lot. I feel like with the eye look I have on, I definitely could have gone with a more gold tone highlighter. But I picked all these products out yesterday, so let me actually get a gold one because I think it's actually going to bother me. <laughs> We're going to go in with the ABH Ambrazy and just try to change the tone just a little bit to a more goldy kind of feel. I also want to add some brown to the under eye with the Natasha Denona, what is this called? I think it's like the mini Metropolis. Did you guys get the big one? I've never tried that one. But I really like this one. So now I'm going to take this Milani Color Statement Lip Liner in All Natural. Mm-hmm. And line the lippies. Then I'm going to use this viral TikTok Milani lipstick. And I'm going to put that all over the lips. This is in the shade Secret. I have not even used this yet. That is really, really pretty. I definitely overline my lips like way too much like with the actual lipstick. I don't even think you really need a lip liner with this specific product because it does really do that for you really nicely, I feel. I feel like my lips were too like creamy for my chapstick for this to really do what I wanted it to do today. But usually I really, really like it, so. And then I was going to have us go into the Make It Last spray, but then I was like, no, 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 because this video is about seeing the longevity of the primer. So we're going to use more of like a refreshing spray. This is the Fix Plus and we're just going to spray this all over the face. This is how we're going to look for today and I will be back right now. It is, let me see, it is 9.48 so I will see you at the end of the day so that we can see how both sides held up and again this is the elf side right here and then this is the hydro grip side right there obviously the highlight is like crazy on both of the sides I feel because I went in with two really blinding ones but as far as up close I really really want you guys to see what is going on here so I'm going to show you both sides really really close and I will try to record on my phone at my skin like halfway throughout the day as well and yeah I'll see you at the end of the day besties hey besties I am back eight hours later it is currently 622 and I can finally tell you how much I really enjoy this primer you guys literally today I have cried I have hugged all over my girlfriend I have went to the grocery store so wearing mask and I feel like this foundation still looks really, really good on this side with the primer underneath the power grip. I think it really, really did help it hold up really well throughout all that. And on this side, I feel like through all of that madness, this it does look really good still. But I think it definitely looks a bit better on this side even, like the more affordable side. The Hydro Grip is a favorite. I do love that one. I think it really, really makes your makeup stick really, really well. But I think that this side did that and then also smoothed over my skin as well. I feel like this side looks a bit more like airbrushed. Whereas this side, it did stick to the foundation. 
but I feel like throughout the crying especially, uh, it did kind of, you know, uh, come apart a little bit. Like I feel like in this area right here, you see some redness, whereas on this side where I cried, you really can't tell as much. I mean, sure, my under eyes are a little crepey because of it, but other than that, I feel like it's more detectable on this side. Even? Am I crazy? I don't know. But I really, really enjoy this primer, you guys. I'm going to get my use out of it. I'm going to continue to love it. I think it's worth every penny personally, and I can't wait to keep playing with it and, you know, just incorporating it with other foundations, concealers, bronzers, like all types of products to see what it works best with. And yeah, I think that for $10, when you have this $34 product, I literally use that on this side and I do feel like it might, I mean, I think it looks better. I think you can really tell. I think you can. So I think this was a success. Go e.l.f. e.l.f. has been really killing it. I just reviewed their um, lip stains and those were amazing. They're really just doing a really great job. Really great job. Like them and Milani top tier. I love them. So thank you so much for coming out with affordable products for people that might not be able to afford this or maybe just don't even want to spend that kind of money on makeup. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this video was helpful, at least a little maybe. Uh, I really enjoyed filming it. I'm going to do more videos like testing products out and actually waiting till the end of the day to give you my full opinions because I think that's just the most helpful way to do these. Uh, and if you're not already subscribed, please subscribe and I will see you in the next one besties. Bye!